today's economy, materials are extracted, products manufactured, used and thrown away at as low a cost as possible. This cycle is not only polluting, it is unsustainable in a planet with limited resources. But it can be improved. Have you heard about the circular economy? Products stay in the economy for longer, and at the end of their life, they are reused, repaired, remanufactured, upgraded or recycled. Truly creating a circular economy could give a 1.8 trillion euro boost to the European economy. That's the same amount as Italy's entire economy. It would also be good for the environment, reducing the damaging extraction of raw materials, improving air quality by reducing incineration and preventing toxic residues leaking into the soil through landfill waste sites. But what about people? It is estimated that for every 10,000 tonnes of waste, one job can be created if that waste is incinerated, six jobs if it is landfilled, 36 if it is recycled, and 296 if it is reused. Examples from all around Europe show that when people and social enterprises are able to get involved in the circular economy, the social, environmental and financial benefits are enjoyed by all. On the 2nd of December 2015, the European Commission published the Circular Economy Package, which places people at a secondary level. The Greens are calling for a better integration of people's interests in the circular economy, such as stronger support for citizens' initiatives and social enterprises and a stronger focus on green job creation. This is why the Greens are calling for five things to change in the package. See more at circular-economy-now.eu